What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to some more Cat What a Sojo. Oh man, on this last episode, a whole lot of shit happened here with freaking Emmy, some drama and stuff, man. But don't worry, we're gonna sort this out with this out. We're, we're gonna do this, and now it's choice time here with the nurse here. And since I don't want to be a fucking hypocrite and push this guy away, no, this is my problem. I'm not gonna do that because that's is precisely what Emmy is doing. So I'm just gonna say, sure, why not? That's that's my reason behind this. You know, let's get this guy. He can only be helpful. He seems to know a lot about Emmy. Alright, uh, so, what is it that Muto said yesterday? If you can't observe the thing, then observe what's around it. Yeah, there we go, good going, his sound, there we go. With the shot, the nurse knows Emmy better than I do, I'd wager. Probably. Well, sure, I'm open to suggestions. Honestly, I'm kind of lost. It's very apparent there, Hassau. It's okay, though, man. I've got no idea how to deal with this. Oh, yeah, I never would have guessed. <laughs> yeah, okay, you can smile at me, that's fine. He grins while saying this. I think he's kidding. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. Uh, look, here's the deal. Emmy is, um, stubborn. I, I got that. I, I, I got that, nurse. Um, you, you should know that by now. Uh, I'm glad he knows. Uh, and if you don't, then you're pretty unobservant. But I'm okay. Yeah, that would be very true. But I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here. Oh, th thanks, Mr. Nurse. I'm so grateful. Uh, okay. Anyway. If she's decided that she doesn't want to talk about what happened, then she's not going to talk about what's happened. Okay, well there you go. That's pretty much what I've gathered here too. Uh, has she said anything about what's been bothering her? Even a hit? Well, she did say that she has been having nightmares about the accident. Oh, there you go. Really? You've been making progress then. That's good. Th thanks, nurse. Um, well, I, I guess I could fill you on on this without violating my strict non-interference policy when it comes to Emmy making stupid decisions. <laughs> there you go. Um, the anniversary of her accident is coming up soon. Oh, okay, well there you go. She's getting depressed around this time because it was a pretty traumatic event, considering what she lost. Okay, well that's very true. Uh, that's the other thing. She acted like she lost more than just her legs. What happened? Whoa, hey, nope, not going there. You'll have to ask someone else about that because that's the whole can of worms I'm not about to open. All right, well, I figured you wouldn't tell me there, but that's fine. Um, that's all right. If Emmy wants you to know, uh, she'll tell you in her own time. Oh, okay, well, I guess that's true. You've got to be patient, that's all. Why are you even helping me with all this? Because he loves you, he's your big bro, man. Because you're good for it. She trusts you, and if you don't think she does, oh, he's the biggest na oh, nurse. You're the best guy around there, and you're also Batman. But that's another thing, and you've got the best chance of anyone in this school right now to help her through this time of the year. Oh yeah, there we go. She won't accept my help, but she might accept yours if you don't screw it up. Th thanks for the faith, buddy. Thank you. So don't screw it up, but God, <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm not gonna screw it up, don't worry, I hope a God, pressure's on guys, I hope I don't screw it up. I open my mouth to respond, but a knocking sound at the door interrupts me. Oh, hey, you guys still in there? <laughs> yeah, we are, I'm sorry, we're bro-talking now, man. Well, uh, just a moment, Emmy. Give us a second to get our pants back on. No, nurse, don't do that to me. God damn, oh, she just barges it anyway. The door bursts open and Emmy glares nice at the nurse. Go. <laughs> oh, what is that? Asshole! <laughs> I mean, oh god! You're like you're one to say that. Oh, I went there, guys. Fucking crushing! I did that shit. Oh, no, don't mean to get your hopes up. Hey, can can we leave me out of this? Anyway, what's up, Emmy? You forgot something? I try to take a more cheerful tone with her. No need to upset her. Two can play at the everything's fine game. Oh, getting cheeky there, are we? Yeah, I made another butt joke. Oh god! Actually. I forgot to ask you something. Oh, well, what's that? Um, do you want to come with me on a trip to my house? Whoa, whoa, oh shit, whoa, okay. Um, my mom's making dinner and I thought you might want to join us. Well, shit, Hissau, you're still, you're still in the game here from this, the looks of that. Well, of course I'd accept. <laughs> oh god, Emmy punches the nurse in the arm playfully. Oh, oh gosh, you're the best bro around there. Not you, idiot. You were over last week. Oh, he was actually over last week, huh? Hmm. Oh, okay. And I was talking to a sow. Oh, oh. Oh, interesting. Meeting the Baron, huh? You know, I'd love to go, Emmy. Thanks. Oh, the nurse raises his eyebrow, but says nothing. Yeah, you wanna go there? Oh, no, stop it, nurse. Well, great. 
It'll be in my room. Swing by after you shower and change it to something clean and we'll grab the bus. Oh, wow. That, that early? Goddamn. Well, sounds good. I'll see you in a bit. Well, this time it's me who leans in for a quick kiss before darting off to my room. Ah, oh, yeah. What an interesting development. Maybe we're getting closer after all. Yeah, things are looking up. Maybe I'm you know, finally ready to open up a little. Or maybe she's just being polite. Oh, and a free meal sounds like a good way to apologize for last night. Uh, could be either one. Grace, I can't decide whether to be excited, nervous, or depressed. I sell for a combination of all three and hop into the shower. All right, well, that's fine. We could, we could do this, man. No problem. Can, can I pause here? Oh, no, you can't. Someone told me to pause there, and nothing happened there. I paused, and nothing fucking happened. God damn it. All right, well, there we go. All right, so, bada big. Oh, oh, there we go. I don't think I like riding on buses. No, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with a bus, man. Actually, I think I'm pretty comfortable saying that as a fact. No, all right, man. And they sway a lot, and they smell funny, and you feel every bump on the road. Actually, some people like the bumps, man. Those are actually kind of fun, but I do agree. They do smell funny sometimes. I'm really not looking forward to this. Plus, Emmy's legs keep making a clinking noise that draws the attention of everyone else on the bus. Don't, don't worry about that, man. She's in shorts again, and she's got long socks drawn up on her prosthetics, so they don't look obviously false again. But that doesn't stop the odd look or two every time the legs bump together with an audible clunk. I shift nervously in my seat, and Emmy raises an eyebrow questioningly. What's going on? Why, why, what's so sinister about this here? She doesn't seem to mind the stares. Either that or she doesn't even notice that people are staring. I'm sure she's gotten, you know, her fill of odd looks before. After a certain amount of time, I doubt she'd notice any more. Not that she'd ever tell me if I asked. Another fact is, I'm not just uncomfortable about the bus. Oh, well, what other were you uncomfortable about then? I can't seem to come to terms with the fact that Emmy appears to be trying to bring me closer while at the same time pushing me away. The nurse said that she trusts me, even if she doesn't look like it. And I'm not sure I can trust the nurse. He's protective of Emmy, just like I'm protective of Emmy. And I'd be likely to say something to make her look good if someone asked me about her. No, uh, okay, well that's fine. You know, we will find out, his sal. So he might just be doing that. And well, still, there was something about the way he seemed genuinely surprised that Emmy invited me along. Maybe last night's talk helped more than I think, but I'm still worried. Being the parents is a big deal, right? It is kind of a big deal, but don't worry, man. You'll be fine. Not that I haven't already met Emmy's mother, but that was just as an acquaintance. Now it's going to be as Emmy's boyfriend, with everything that implies. Yeah, you have certainly done quite a bit there. I can feel my heart pounding in my chest. An echo of that snow-covered afternoon that feels like it was so long ago that it might as well be another life entirely. Damn, damn that was a mouthful there, Hassau. It's okay, we're back to serious mode. Except then, I don't, I don't know what was going on. I also don't have medication to help prevent things spiraling out of control. What? Well, we just—you should have brought your medica medication along, just in case, man. You know, I've come a long way in terms of my physical health, and for the second time today, I feel like I'll be able to live normally now, or at least as normally as possible. Now, if only I can manage my relationships as well as I manage my heart, I'd be in great shape. It's okay, sir. I believe in you. You can do it, man. Oh, well, we're here. Oh, this looks rather nice. Emmy grabs my hand as soon as we've stepped off the bus. She starts heading down the street almost immediately. Ah, oh, here we go. Well, come on, we've got a couple blocks into my place. Um, what? Um, okay. All right, here we go. I follow Emmy down the street, watching her confident stride. She's setting a kind of quick pace just for a walk. Well, she's excited to see her mom and probably show you off, man. I guess she's anxious to get there. So, does your mom do this sort of thing often? Well, uh, nah, not too frequently. Mom's never been much for playing hostess. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my dad was always the one pushing her to have people over. The sudden and unprompted reference to her father catches me off guard. Oh, oh all right. And from the look on Emmy's face, I'm not sure she meant to mention him. And I think I've only ever heard of him talk about him once. Probably because she's probably the source of what, you know, this is all about. All I remember is that Emmy's mom told me that he wasn't around anymore. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so your mom prefers solitude. Um, Emmy laughs, either from relief that I didn't ask about her father or from finding my statement actually funny. Not at all. She's why I'm such an outgoing person, you know. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Um, she just prefers to be a guest rather than a hostess. It's less stressful that way, or so she says. 
Well, clearly she's never had to meet her girlfriend's mother for dinner. <laughs> oh, there we go. And it giggles again and speaks in a teasing tone. Uh, nervous as thou? Well, yeah, a little bit. You shouldn't be, you know. It's not that big of a deal. Just dinner at my house, that's all. Well, yeah, but have you ever brought at home a boyfriend before? I confess that part of me dreads hearing the answer to this. Yeah, that was a bold fucking question there, buddy. I know very little of Emmy's past relationships. I don't even know if there was a past relationships. Yeah, no, I guess I haven't. Oh, oh, okay. Well, there we go. Well, hey, maybe this is really kind of a big deal after all. Well, there we go. Bada bing. Oh, good. Now I feel twice as nervous. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Though, to tell the truth, I'm pretty happy to hear that I'm the first one. Yeah, there we go. Maybe we got something special after all. Yeah, there we go, Sal. Look it up on the bright side. What a nice fucking house here. Oh, man. Anyway, don't get distracted. Bolstered by the new thought, and I've managed to calm down considerably by the time Emmy knocks on her front door. Um, hey, Mom, open up. We're here. Oh, there we go. Oh, we get to see Emmy's mom again. She looks good as always. The door swings open, and Miss Iberazaki stands grinning at her daughter. The grin is still surprisingly similar to Emmy's. Well, no shit, it's similar to Emmy's because it's come from more of the same build. Except, you know, a few noticeable differences, but we're not going to say anything there. <laughs> oh, God, she would kill me. I am not virtual noble. I I'm never going to get used to that. Um... Oh, you know, people normally wait for a few minutes before they start shouting at the door. <laughs> oh, gosh. And, and most mothers say hello to their daughters instead of scolding them right away. <laughs> oh, they're so sassy, the both of them. Ah, uh, of course. Welcome home, dear. I missed you. Oh, ooh, what a nice kitchen, too. Uh, an affectionate hug later, we're inside. And it's only then that Emmy's mom seems to remember that I'm actually here. Well, it's nice to see you, too, Emmy's mom. Jeez. And hello to you, too, Hisao. How are you? Oh, I'm quite well, thank you. Uh, nice to not have school to worry about for a little bit. Yeah! Ah, uh, uh, yes. You finished up your exams, haven't you? That must be quite a relief for you both. Uh, yes, it actually is. And this little nerd over here has been doing good. He's gonna become a science whiz for your daughter. What do you think of that, huh? Huh, husband of material there, huh? Okay. Uh, it's certainly a weight off my mind, that's for sure. Oh. There we go. Mine too. I think I slept well for the first time in weeks last night from relief alone. Aw, oh, yeah. If this news is a surprise to Emmy's mother, she doesn't show it. Still, her response betrays a note of interest. Oh, okay, so maybe she did know or didn't. I don't know. Well, is that so? I'm very glad to hear that, Emmy. You know I get worried about you when you get all wound up about, well, exams. Oh, certainly Emmy's mother knows something I don't, or... Rather, she seems to know that Emmy's told me about the nightmares. Well, there we go. It's interesting being able to observe how Miss Ibar Ibarazaki covers for Emmy. That protective instinct to make sure that I don't know anything more than Emmy's willing to tell me. Well, she is the mom, so of course that makes sense. I guess Emmy's got more in common with Corks than I ever realized. There we go. Moves around fast, impossible to understand through direct observation. That she has an effect on everyone she encounters. By God, you're doing- you're referencing her to science, Hisao. What's going on here? God damn. I wonder if Miss Iberazaki will figure out that I know about the nightmares, or if she's just keeping everything a secret from everybody. She's probably doing the, the secret thing. Alright. Yeah, it's not been as bad this year as in the past. It still helped me stay focused. Ah, thank you, Emmy. I'm here for you, girl. Okay, I know that's not true. She even cut off the contact inside of school hours during exam weeks, exactly! Aw oh, man, but she did see me during the day, and she told me more than once that the morning run was the only thing she looked forward to during exams, so maybe it's not that much of a lie. It's alright man, it's fine. Either way, to hear that being around has helped her even a little makes me feel a little bit better. Emmy's mother raises an eyebrow at this statement. Oh no, she suspects something. Either she doesn't believe Emmy, or she's as surprised as I am. Oh gosh. Well, then it appears that it's a good thing you two have become so close. <laughs> oh, don't tease me like that. Um, I tell you to take good care of my daughter, Hisao, but it looks like you've already been doing that. Oh, Miko, thank you very much. Emmy grins at this and seems to take pride in my having managed to integrate myself with her mother so easily. Oh, yeah. Now, actually, I'd say your daughter's been the one taking care of me. She's got me out, uh, out and running. You know, I've probably been more active since meeting her than I ever was, or even before. I'd actually never thought of it that much, nor had I ever appreciated the humor in it. Well, it's fine. I wasn't really too active before the heart attack. 
Pick up games of soccer don't really count since they weren't that common. So now that I know for sure that I have a weak heart, now I run every day, pushing my luck with the help of my medication. Yeah, I chuckle quietly, but realize that I never finished my sentence. It's alright, so. Well, before I had my heart attack and wound up a place here at the school, uh, it comes out so casually. There was a time that I would have thought twice about talking about what was wrong with me at all. But now, yeah, now it just seems silly to care. Especially in the company of Emmy and her mother. Yeah! If Emmy can be so cavalier about her disability, then so can I. I think back to the track meet, where Emmy declared herself the fastest thing on Leno Legs. Yeah, aw oh, man. The fact of her own obvious losses never seemed to bother her. At least not in public. Being stuck in the wheelchair frustrated her, I know. But even that was something she dealt with on her own. Despite my efforts to, to the contrary. Hassel, how long are you gonna fucking monologue to yourself here? Come on, get back to the girls. Thank you. Thank you, Mako. Emmy has a way of bringing out the more active side in people. I never quite figured out how she does it. Those puppy dog eyes she gets, for starters. Yeah, probably, man. Can't say no to that shiz. Uh, I'm not surprised that she managed to rope you in into an exercise routine. If Rin weren't as stubborn as she is, I'm sure Emmy would have gotten her out and running with you too. She probably, yeah. Um, ooh. Oh, and that reminds me. Rin says hello. Aw, oh, Rin's a little sweetheart too. Bada bing. And I drift to the outer edges of the conversation again as we move to the dining room to eat. Alright, well there we go. I think that's a good place to call it a day here. It kind of want a sojo. I hope you guys enjoyed this long episode again here. I I'm trying to power through these episodes here to get to the end. I want to see that what happens here. I'm very excited. I want to just get this done and over with. So hit that like if you guys freaking agree with me. And let's find out what freaking happens next time here in Catawata Sojo.